is up guys, it's Thomas Eston coming at you with what everybody's all been waiting for, NASCAR 15, Season 1, Race 1. And I'm not kidding you guys either, this is NASCAR 15. There you do, there you go right there. Alright, we're going to go single player, single season. Alright, now the reason why I don't do my career is because I'm already into the second season and I'm pretty far, so... We're going to be my own driver, of course. We're going to start out with the gray paint scheme. And this is what I use in my career, too. Daytona. All right, so I will come back as soon as I am at the track. Hey, guys, welcome back. And it is time to set up the settings for the race. Okay, here's how we're going to do it. You see up there, 50% AI difficulty, 5-minute practice and qualifying time. I'll do that in one minute. And race length is going to be 50 Hold on. 15% races. Tower and fuel use will be two. Flag rules, cautions only, and di visual damage only. There you see it right there. All right, that will be my settings for the entire season. We're going to do accept, and I will finish up qualifying in one moment. Hey, guys, what's up? And this is the final qualifying lap, actually, and I am first right now that's good but anyway this is just letting you check in on how i'm doing right now we're gonna take you in through we're gonna take you through this lap of the daytona of your daytona speedway super speedway and look at down the back stretch here we go i'm in a chevrolet ss lots of sponsors on the side this is the car i use for my career so i hope you guys like it tell me in the comments below how you think my car looks Here we're going to turn three and four right now. See, the best line for Daytona is you want to stay on the yellow line. All right, we are, oh, hit the wall a little bit. We are coming to a close in this qualifying session. All right, I will qualify first for the Daytona Duel, and we will see you then. All right, guys, so you just see me, saw me finish up qualifying for the Daytona Duel, and now it's time to start it. And here we are looking at the beautiful Daytona Super Speedway at night for the Daytona Duel. And right now, we're about to take a look at the starting lineup for the Daytona Duel. Alright, here we go. Here's turns three and four right there, as you can see. And Daytona. Alright, and the winner of this race will start third for the Daytona 500. Alright. Daytona Super Speedway at nighttime. Will we see the starting lineup? I guess not. We will not see the starting lineup for this race, but here we go back to start. Me and Kurt Busch will lead it down first and second. Then we have followed by um, Carl, um, Carl, Kevin Harvick and Austin Dillon. It's going to be me and Kurt Busch leading down to the start finish line. Green flag is out. We are underway for the Daytona Duel. Contact between me and Greg Biffle right there. And here we go. Trouble. Turn number three. The big one here at Daytona Internet, at Daytona Super Speedway. And I'm going to be in it a little bit, but not that much. I somehow escape it with with big amounts of damage. But I was in the middle right there. I couldn't control where I was going. So the big one happens early in the Daytona Duel. Jenny Hamlin, Tony Stewart will be at the back of the field. That was a pretty exciting caution right there. And my car is all banged up at the back. The front looks to be okay, but the left, my right side, or the, excuse me, the left side is what's most banged up right now. I will restart seventh. I gained five spots right there. I'm not gonna pit. And you see my left, my right side barely has any damage, but the left side of my car 
He's pretty banged up. It will be Harvick to lead this to the start. And Clint Boyer. Green flag is back in the air. All right, here we go on behind Casey Mears as we go down into turn number one. As you can see, Jamie McMurray challenging Harvick for the lead right there. Can I get a push? Is Can I get a push from, it looks like, Casey Mears right there? And I do get a pretty good run right there, and I'm going to get behind Jamie McMurray. And Casey Mears has a drafting partner, so that's dangerous, and I'm going to try to block him right now. As I am right below Jamie McMurray as we come out of the back stretch and head into turn number three. And there we go. I will take the lead. There are nine laps in this race. And that my right side is really worrying me because I'm, I'm worried if, if it's going to drag the car down on the right side. And I'm getting a push. It looks like that was Bobby Labonte, and I will lead this lap. And here we go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. running in second place right now. And I'm going to run on the high side. Is Dale Earnhardt Jr. not going to move that many positions up right now? He's getting a good push from Casey Mears. That's bringing him up a little bit. Trevor Bain has the fastest lap in this race. As Casey Mears abandons Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Jr. desperately looking for a partner right now to draft with. And I'm going to get right in front of Jr. to see if he'll draft with me. And we are three wide in a turn number three. Harvick is going to take the lead right now. I am on the outside. Casey Mears in the middle. Trying to be extra careful right here. And Justin Allgaier is running out in second. Oh, no, I hit the wall right there. That's going to slow down Jr. And Chase Elliott, the rookie, moving up into seventh. Five laps to go. I get a push. I get a good push from Junior. Now Casey Mears moved to the outside. This is a pretty exciting race. Is now Junior moves below me to the middle line. And Casey Mears, I hit him up and up against the wall, and I'm, we're able to save it. Going down into turn number one. Coming down to turn two on the back stretch. I drop back to 13th. But that's okay. I'm gonna get. Oh, Ricky Stenhouse to, uh, obviously does not want to draft. And Junior is left in the middle by himself, no one to draft with, and he is not drafting. Does he have a car in front of him? Yes, he does, and it looks like that could be Trevor Bain. And I get a good push right there, a pretty good run coming out of, coming out of the back stretch. And now here we go. I'm passing that 13. I'm passing Michael Waltrip in that 66 car, and I give Trevor Bain a little bit too much of a hard hit. And now I'm behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm going to look to push him. No, I'm going to go up and try to push Michael McDowell. No, it looks like I might be in the middle right here. I don't know. The high side is a little too slow right now. And Michael McDowell hits the wall. Chase Elliott, the race leader. I am now stuck in the middle right now. This is where I hit crash last time. I'm going to try to get below. And here we go. Three wide down the back stretch. This is not good. And Justin Allgaier gives me a bump. And here we go. Wreck number two. I'm involved in this one pretty hard, and they're still wrecking. Two of them cars are two car, two other cars are airborne, and my car is all banged up. I was in the middle of that wreck. I was in the middle line. I was getting too anxious. I tried to go below Justin Allgaier to get into the low line because I didn't want to be in the middle, and I hit the wall pretty hard. And Michael Mc and Trevor, Toby, Bobby Labonte, and Greg Biffle both went airborne. They flipped over my car. That was pretty insane right there. There are not that many laps left, and I'll be last anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and come into the pits, and we'll be back with the restart momentarily. All right, guys, welcome back to the Daytona Duel. I will start 22nd on the outside of Michael McDowell. As you see, some of my damage was fixed by my crew. They did a good job. As many other drivers pitted, I was not the only one that did. And the green flag is back out as Austin Dillon leads us to the start. Here we go, there are two laps to go. I do not want to be stuck in the middle this time. I'm going to try to get in front of McDowell to go on the low side. And here I go. Now, I'm probably not going to win this race, but I do not want to finish 21st, so I will try and get a better position right here. And I could have drafted Tony Stewart right there. I'm going to get into a group right now, the high side. Now, let's see if I can get good with Tony Stewart right now. I'm going to try to push him as we both get a good run going down into turn number three. And the uh, the outside line is tripped up. What? They must have had some contact up there or something because the outside line just collapsed right there. And I will move up into 13th now. 
White flag is out. Danny Hammond leads us, leads that lap. White flag is out. Who will lead the last point? Brian Vickers comes right up beside me. And here we go. And Tony Stewart comes down in front of me a little too early. Or he came down in front of me a little too late. And now he's going to slide up to the middle. I got Casey Kane behind me. He has a drafting partner. I move up into the 12th position. Austin Dillon, the race leader, and is... It, and Casey Kane doesn't give me a, a draft right there. He now has a partner. And here we go. Justin Allgaier is a little slow right now. I don't want him to have to move into the middle. And here we go. And I am in the middle. And here we go. Last lap trouble. Justin Allgaier spins. Justin Allgaier is around. The caution does not come out. Last lap crash. I have moved down into fifth. Now I get back up into 14th. And it looks like Austin Newland's going to win the Daytona Duel. And that number three car. Will I get 13? Oh, and I come up into Clint Boyer. I mean... I came up into Greg before right there. I get 13th. 13th place. I'll take it. That was an exciting finish right there. I'm not going to lie. That was really, that was a really good finish right there. All right, let's take a look at the results. All right, so Austin Dillon will win the Daytona Duel and start third for the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte gets second place. Kurt Busch will get third. Casey Mears fourth. And Denny Hamlin led the, he led the second to last lap, but he comes home in fifth. Kyle Larson 6, Clint Boyer 7, Casey Kane 8, Michael Lynette 9, Brian Vickers 10, we'll round out the top 10, Kevin Harvick 11, Greg Biffle 14th, I get 13th, Jamie McMurray 15th, Tony Storr 18th, and Trevor Bain will round out the top 20, and he was not the fa and Kevin Harvick had the fastest lap. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be 21st, and Justin Allgaier rounds out last place in 22nd. That's pretty confusing, too, because he was leading the race earlier. So a really exciting finish to this race, wouldn't you guys agree? And I was not going to see that coming. I knew I was going to end up being in the middle, and I knew there was going to be a wreck. But anyway, it was a great finish. Hey, I'll take 13th. But what really messed me up there was when um, uh, I was running in the lead, and then I got overrun by a bunch of cars. On the outside and on the inside, I couldn't get a groove, so I had to be in the middle. And then after that, I got a big wreck and went into the pits. But hey, I gained all the way up to 13th because the outside line, it turns out Jimmy Johnson and Dale Earnhardt Jr., or Jimmy Johnson, um, Chase Elliott and Dale Earnhardt Jr. had contact, and it tripped up the outside line because it moved Jr. He was the leader in front of the outside line. He moved to the inside, and then he hit Chase Elliott on the outside, and it just chucked him, it tripped him up a little bit. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for the Daytona Duel. I hope to see you guys for the Daytona 500. And as always, I will see you in the next gaming video. Bye. Kind of stole that from Markiplier, but... So that's not the official ending of this race. Alright. So as always... Man, I kind of come up with a better ending. Okay. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys for the Daytona 500. See you later.